My first pair were in high school and now as an adult, I get another pair. Bought another muscle shirt. I thought it was so funny because it has shoulder pads. We went to the Heineken factory in Amsterdam, which was so fun. We didn't think it was gonna be anything like this tour. So I will actually save more of those clips for our vlog. So if you guys haven't, check out that vlog channel, subscribe to it. I love thin types of... I do like a lot of crap, like these little trinkets i mean this is like what i do i love to like collect these things hey guys welcome to my channel so today i wanted to share some of the things that i bought other than beauty products for my trip i love little plush toys little stuffed animals they're just my favorite i bought this from where is this H&M home. It's a little giraffe. I thought I was gonna buy this for my goddaughter. If you guys know me, I love little trinkets, little stuffed toys. I mean, when I was little, I would love large ones, but as an adult, I'm like, I don't have space. So little tiny friends will do. Here's a little bunny friend from Holland. I actually got him in Amsterdam. I just thought it was so cute. A tiny little yellow rabbit. If you guys didn't know, I do have a pet bunny. His name is Levi. They didn't have a gray bunny, but they did have a blue one. But this yellow one just like caught my eyes. So I said, I'm taking this guy home. <laughs> Some of these things may be a repeat from my past monthly's favorites, but I did not share everything that was like non-beauty. So that's why I'm going to include it in this video too. So in Amsterdam, I went to a really small boutique that had really cute things. Again, I was on a mission to buy things that I couldn't get at home. I love thin types of I love thin types of jewelry, very dainty type of things like these guys here, my tattoo, just something very simple. I literally bought $100 worth, but it's just something special and unique. They were handmade. I bought them in neutral colors. You guys know me, my oranges, my browns, the teals. I even got one in this berry color that actually sparkles under the light. It's really pretty. What I really like about these is that it has an adjustable band. So anyone in different shapes and sizes can wear this. There's a little knot in the center and you basically just take the beaded side and you pull to tighten and repeat on the other side. And to release, you basically do the opposite. So in addition to the bunny, I also got a little bunny keychain. I like this one, it's so cute. So I did get a blue one with a little orange bow tie. Found this really cute Lego keychain. It's basically just a Lego piece. I did mention that London was a bit expensive to shop in versus the other three destinations. So we didn't shop too much in London, but of course we took advantage at the other locations. Just got some cute little pieces for me to remember. My mission in London was to find a red phone booth. I was warned that it stinks in there, it was dirty, so I didn't step foot in there, but I did find one and I took a picture of it. And now I have a keychain to keep at home. This was really unique because we were able to stand by the guard's palace. We were able to watch their morning routine where they gather up all the soldiers, play their music with their band or orchestra, and march to the palace. And now I have this to remember our trip. I bought myself a pair of Air Force One shadows. These are so cute. They're very clean. I'm like scared to wear them. They have a thicker sole. They're just basically Air Force Ones. My first pair were in high school and now as an adult, I get another pair. These are the shadows, so they're just slightly different from the detailings. I was told I can get these at home, but I didn't want to risk the chance of what if I should had and all that stuff. So. Luckily, I had room to squeeze this in, and this is what I got. Speaking of dainty little things, I bought myself a cute little bag. This is not a real purse, it's actually a charm, but the straps are actually long enough for you to wear as a crossbody. I love mustard yellow, it's just such a beautiful color. It has to be one of my favorite colors, and this stood out to me, so I bought this. It's so small, I literally could only fit like a credit card, my key fob, maybe a small little lip gloss, but that's basically all you need in life. And of course my phone, but I can place that in my pocket. <laughs> 
I also bought a pair of sunglasses. These are the Fendi like cat eye shaped. I really liked how it has this print. I have to rewind real quick because when we went to Hawaii in May of 19, I saw a pair of these Fendi glasses. By now, it's probably not available anymore because it was like an older item that they didn't have in stock, but it was very similar. I would say it's a little bit bigger. It was lighter in the lens, but it did have like these Fendi prints, which is so cute. These again, I could buy here at home because I've seen it, but since I was there and the price point was better, I did get myself a pair of glasses. So let's move on to apparel. Bought myself this really cute t-shirt. It says, if traveling were free, bye. <laughs> this is a crop t-shirt you can wear with jeans, very cute. Don't come for me guys because everything I bought was black and white. Everything that I saw that I thought was cute, I bought it just because I wasn't sure if we offered it here at home. This t-shirt is really cute. It's just a plain tee, but you can see on the side it has three little buttons. So I got myself a muscle shirt. I think that's what you call it when the side is like super wide or it's like the slit is low and there's no sleeve. But again, this is just a basic white tee. But the only difference is that the detailing on the side here is what really caught my attention. It's just a regular scoop neck cropped as well. It's like a rib stitched here. And yes, I did buy this in black too. Bought another muscle shirt. I thought it was so funny because it has shoulder pads. I know the 80s and 90s trend in some fashions and makeups are actually coming back in style. So I just thought it was really nostalgic. Again, it's like a muscle shirt because there's no sleeves and it's wide here. This shirt is a little bit longer than the last one. And yes, I did buy this in white as well. <laughs> H&M Home, I bought myself a really nice robe. This is a champagne taupey color. On camera, it looks a little bit more pewter. This is a full length robe. It has like a flowy arm, not too wide arm like a kimono sleeve, but I like how loose this is. I love the black trimming. Oh, I also forgot that I bought this cute little backpack from H&M Home. It's just a drawstring bag. This is for a child, which is my goddaughter and my husband's goddaughter. So we got each of them one of these. I just love the ears. I wish they were longer so they're more floppier, but I guess it would cover the face, but it's just so cute. I thought Amsterdam was known for tulips and windmills and clogs. I don't know the story about the bunnies, but I just thought they're cute, so I bought them anyways. My goddaughter loves hair clips, so I got her a pair of these little wooden bunnies, and they're also in pink. I forgot to mention this t-shirt. So this was also purchased at Zara. Funny story, I've actually had one of these from Zara like years back. Don't know what happened to that shirt, but when I saw this at Zara, I had to get it. Later, my husband reminded me that I had one of these, but I just don't know where it is. So I'm happy I got one of these shirts. I honestly have more things to be honest it's either wash and put away but for the most part I thought these were like fun things to buy a little different than just makeup I do like a lot of crap like these little trinkets I mean this is like what I do I love to like collect these things yeah so I just noticed that I like to collect a lot of crap Oh, there's also other things too that we've already given away. So in Barcelona and London, we went to churches. That's one thing that I can't share because we've given them away already. So we went to this church in Barcelona, beautiful church. We bought some rosaries and some crosses to give to the family. Also in Westminster in London, we bought some rosaries and things like that for the family too. So if I have pictures of them, I'll pop them in the screen somewhere. Oh, we also went to the Heineken factory. I have to tell you. We went to the Heineken factory in Amsterdam, which was so fun. We didn't think it was gonna be anything like this tour. So I will actually save more of those clips for our vlog. So if you guys haven't, check out that vlog channel, subscribe to it. That's gonna be the last leg of our trip. But going back to the Heineken factory, we did buy some Heineken bottles and we personalized them, which was really awesome. So here are the bottles with our family names personalized at the bottom. They were actually very inexpensive to be honest and you get your vac back. 
All right, guys, that is it for my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it wasn't anything beauty related, but I thought I would share the things that I bought at the other locations. So again, if you guys haven't subscribed to my vlog channel where I will be posting the rest of my vlogs. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.